everyone, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an updated living room tour because we recently got our wood floors put in. My husband put them in and I'm super excited at how I redecorated. So I just thought I'd show you around a little bit and see how everything has changed from the last tour that I did. So we can just start over here. That's the front door, so that's the door to the living room. As you can see, we're still under construction. We don't have some of the outlet covers on, and we don't have the base trim on, but I just wanted to show you anyways. This is an antique mirror that I just chalk painted because it was a brassy gold, and I just wanted to update it a little bit and make it match my decor. This buffet right here, I got it from Home Goods a couple years ago. Don't mind me in the mirror. <laughs> I got it from Home Goods a couple years ago and I love it. I love the distressed finish of it, so I'm just keeping it the way it is. Um, and my candelabra lamp is super bright. I got that from an auction, if you saw my auction haul. This is another piece I got from the auction. It's a big old milk jug. It's super heavy, <laughs> it's metal, and I just stuck some flowers in it. Over here is my gallery wall that I'm super happy at how it turned out. I just put up some baskets, some vintage baskets, and some signs and some little baskets with flowers in them. And my general store sign I got from Michaels. My couch, I got this off of Craigslist like eight years ago for... I want to say like a hundred and ninety dollars and it has held up so well I love it and just some pillow covers from Hobby Lobby and some pillows from Big Lots my ladder bookshelf I just have some cute little knickknacks on it um, I just I don't know if that's how I'm gonna keep it but for now I think it looks cute and over here are these two little slipper chairs. I eventually want to get tufted chairs, but for now, I think they work well. The pillow covers I also got from Hobby Lobby. The two signs on the wall, I really like them. I got them from, I think it was the dollar store. I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was one of the dollar stores, like Family Dollar, Dollar General. Over here, I have a vintage radio that was broken. I got it at an auction for a dollar and it was broken, it didn't work, so I painted it white and put a light in it. And so now it's just a little light in the corner. And my little plant, I'm trying to keep it alive, but I don't have a green thumb. It's starting to die a little bit. I need to figure out how to keep that alive a little bit better. <laughs> Um, over here is my faux mantle place, um, my faux fireplace, oh no, the curtain fell down, I gotta fix that. My farmhouse sign, this bless our home sign we got from Walmart, and this fireplace screen, I got this from Goodwill for $14, and it was brass and ugly, so I just chalk painted it white, and I think it looks really cute. And our little recliner chair, that's actually my husband's chair because he had to have a recliner. So I finally found one that I thought would look good in my living room. And it kind of matches the whole farmhouse theme. It's got, it's real leather and it's got the studs on it. And it doesn't really look like a recliner. And my rug, I got this from Target. I love it. Oh, there's my dog underneath. I don't know if you can see him, he's hiding. My little bonbon, he's hiding underneath my stool. <laughs> um, I'm using that stool as a coffee table because I just wanted something small and I love it. It's a super cute, country, primitive kind of bench and I'm just using it as my coffee table. Um, oh yeah, the carpet, I got this from Target and it was an online return item and so I got it on clearance and I'm super happy with how it turned out. It's really pretty. And this is just an overview of my living room and how it turned out. I hope you guys like how I redecorated and changed some things around. I'm super happy with how the wood floors turned out. 
and I'm happy with how the decor is coming. So if you have any questions or comments about what you've seen in the video, just make sure to put it down in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for stopping by.